Julie! Julie Bishop! What is it, Mr. Pine? Turnbull, the Australian Aslan has awoken, Miss Bishop. <coughs> Good news, the balance of order hath been returned to where it belongs. Centre right. He's gonna put a price on carbon, he is. Fear not, faceless backbencher, for that is not a balanced approach. Then what is, Mr. Turnbull? Conceding that things should change, yet delivering the exact same policies, only with a much more winning smile. Ding! Oh, we've destroyed the Liberal Party, you know and love. Nothing but a bunch of both to fix now. Ah, uh, maintaining the balance is harder than I thought. Oh yeah, it's a swing batter who, you know, gets it. I'm so glad that the lips got in, put an end to all this madness at the top, and now they don't have any of this labour chaotic leadership. Spills. You changed an entire nation's direction because a couple of people in the federal government lost their jobs. Yeah, but now, fast forward two years, Malcolm Turnbull's done exactly the same thing and you're gonna vote for him. Yeah, can you just admit that your opinion on politics isn't founded on anything? You just vote for whoever has the biggest advertising budget? Mmm, just a sec, I'm gonna have to wait for the commercials to come on to answer that question and... Say yeah. Yeah? Oh yeah, as a young voter, it's gonna be so hard to choose between Bill Shorten and Malcolm Turnbull now because Malcolm Turnbull hates Tony Abbott's climate change policy even more than Labor does. He said it's bullshit. His words, and I'm young, I can groove on that. You know he's not changing Tony Abbott's climate change policy at all, right? Not one single bit. Yeah, man of the times, so hip. Because by refusing to do anything, Malcolm Turnbull's practicing non-violent political protest against Tony Abbott's ridiculous, outdated climate change policy as he refuses to take any direct action on direct action. It's like his dad's Mahatma Gandhi and his mum's a tree of life shop. Did you know that the breast milk I was fed as a child was crushed up amethyst crystal? And he used to be poor and now he's rich. He knows what it's like. What a multi-millionaire Gandhi Fonz. As when asked by Greens parliamentarian Adam Barnt if he'll be doing anything differently about climate change at all, even in the far off distant future, Malcolm Turnbull's response was, Hey Adam, baby, sit on it, eh? Please happy day. Jesus, he's gonna win now, isn't he? Excuse me? You have no idea what is going on in my head. I'm assessing the new situation. Yes, no, maybe. I don't know. Can you repeat the quest? They're the same. Tony Abbott and Malcolm Turnbull are exactly the same. The only difference is that Malcolm Turnbull got his election portrait done by John's photography and Tony Abbott got it done by the guy who takes photos of Turkish pidays. Yet you're going to be part of that huge poll spike the Liberal Party will receive in the next poll result. Hey, this has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that we just installed a Prime Minister with the name Malcolm, but if I may reference the theme song to Malcolm in the middle, you're not the boss of me now and you're not so big. <sighs> Please press the subscribe button now. Come on.